A Nile cruise is a magical way to experience the 7,000 year history of Egypt because the largest concentration of temples lies along the River Nile between Luxor and Aswan. The trip starts in Luxor, which has been called the greatest open air museum and is probably the oldest tourist destination in history. The ship is the Oberoi Philae, a vessel built in 1996 with 50 luxurious cabins and all amenities. The ship sails north to Kina. The wonderfully preserved temple of Dendera is a rare sight to behold. The main temple is dedicated to the goddess Hathor, goddess of pleasure and love, usually represented as a cow or a woman with a cow's head. Its hypostyle hall has towering columns inscribed with hieroglyphs. The massive stone roof is rich with painted reliefs. Under the temple are underground passages. The courtyard has a rare statue of the god Bess, the patron of childbirth. After Dendera, the ship sails back to Luxor. A beautiful Sphinx way leads to the entrance of the Temple of Luxor. Built by Ramses the Great, it was dedicated to the god Amon. A couple of miles north, is a spectacular temple of Karnak. Built over more than a thousand years by generations of pharaohs, Karnak is the largest religious complex in the world. The Great Hypostyle Hall is an incredible forest of giant pillars covering an area larger than the whole of Notre Dame Cathedral. The West Bank is a quick boat ride across the Nile. Here a balloon ride gives an overview of the immense funerary valleys below. The Valley of the Kings is a vast city of the dead where magnificent tombs were carved into the desert rocks, decorated and filled with treasures for the afterlife. In the next valley, rising out of the desert plain, is the temple of Queen Hatshepsut, ancient Egypt's only female pharaoh. On the way back to the Nile, the road passes by the famed Colossi of Menon, the only survivors of a once imposing temple.
The ship sailed south to Esna, 